Hello and good morning once again. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Okay, kung kayo ay bago lamang dito, pakihit ng notification bell at ng subscribe button bilang suporta sa ating munting channel. Maraming salamat. Sa araw na ito, ang ating pag-uusapan ay tungkol sa multiplying decimals. So this is mathematics 5th grade. Let's go! Okay, so let us discuss. We have how to multiply decimal numbers. First, multiply them as you do with whole numbers. So, i-multiply natin lahat ng decimal numbers kagaya ng ginagawa natin sa whole numbers. Pangalawa, place the decimal point in the product from the right such that the number of decimal places in the product is equal to the total number of decimal places in the factors. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Bibilangin natin yung mga decimal places sa factors at dapat katulad siya ng bilang ng decimal places doon sa sagot natin sa product. Okay? So, let us have the first example. We have 3.5 times 4. We have one decimal place here. Okay, that is 5. Alright? And then, the next number, no decimal place. Okay, so that is zero. So you have so only one decimal place to the left. Let us now answer the problem. So four times five, that is equal to twenty. So bring down zero, carry two. So four times three, that is twelve, plus two, that is equal to fourteen. Now, since we have one decimal place, so from here we're going to write the decimal point to the left of the zero. Okay, the answer is 14. Okay, let us have another example. We have 4.56 and 0 0.34. So, we see that these two numbers, so yung dalawang number na to, ay pareha silang may two decimal places. Okay, so ayan. So, therefore, 2 plus 2, we have 4. Okay, so mayroon silang Four decimal places. So, dapat ang magiging sagot natin ay mayroong four decimal places. So, let us multiply. Four times six is twenty-four. So, bring down four. Carry two. Four times five is twenty. Plus two, you have twenty-two. So, bring down two. And then, carry two. Four times four is sixteen. Plus two, that is eighteen. Okay. Now, next number is three. So, three times six is 18, so bring down 8, carry 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, so bring down 6, and carry 1. Okay? 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, that is 13. Now, let us have this. 1,824 plus 1,368. So, bring down 4. 2 plus 8 is 10. So, bring down 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 8 equals 9. Plus 6. That is 15. So, bring down 5. And carry 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 3. That is 5. And then, bring down 1. Okay, now... It says that our decimal places to the left is 4. We need to count 4 decimal places to the left. Okay, so that is 4 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, write the decimal point. So, our answer is 1.5504. Okay, so that is the answer for 4.56 times point. 34. Okay. Another step in multiplying decimal numbers. However, when the numbers of digit in the product is less than the required decimal places, we add the remaining zeros to the left of the product. So we have example here. 0.21 times 0.4. So we see that the first number has two decimal places and the other one has only one decimal place. Therefore, they have three decimal places to the left. 
Okay, let us answer. So, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And then, the next number is 4 times 0 is 0. So, we have to write 0. And then, 1 0 is added to the left to have 3 decimal places. So, therefore, we need to write this one. Okay. So, our answer will be 0 0.084. Okay. Next, we have two examples here. We have 2.53 times 0.56. Okay. We see that the, the multiplicand and the multiplier has two decimal places. Okay. So, let us answer. So, 6 times 3 is 18. So, bring down 8. Carry 1. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31. Bring down 1. Carry 3. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3. That is 15. Okay, next number is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Bring down 5. Carry 1. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1. That is 26. So bring down 6. Carry 2. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2. 2, that is 12. Now, let us add 1,518 plus 1,265. Bring down 8. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So, bring down 1. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. And then, we have 1. Bring down 1. Okay. So, we see that our multipliers, the numbers that we multiply as uh, both two decimal places, so therefore they have four decimal places to the left. So let us count one, two, three, four, and then put the decimal point. So our answer is 1.4168. Let us have another example. We have 0.73 times 42. So 42 is a whole number. Let us multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 7 is 14. The next number is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Bring down 2. Carry 1. 4 times 7 is 28. Plus 1 is 29. Now let us add 146 plus 292. So bring down 6. 4 plus 2 is also 6. And then 1 plus 9 is 10, so bring down 0, carry 1, so 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, we see that our numbers have only two decimal places, so we need to count two decimal places to the left. So, that is 1, 2, and then put the decimal point. Our answer is 30.66. So, that is how to multiply decimal numbers. Okay, so that is all for this video. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood at pagsubaybay sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, stay safe and God bless!